So I'm just now watching this documentary about Alexei Navalny, and I'm just thinking, what an incredible human being. Like, what an incredibly brave man to be doing what he's doing. And I'm just thinking about all these figures that we have in the world, like Navalny, like Vladimir Zelensky, and um, people such as that. We live in an age of brave, great human beings. And, um, yeah, there's, like, there, there are reasons to be optimistic in the world. <laughs> there's, there's, yeah good great human beings to sponsor out there and it's not all doom and gloom and like the kind of like the the repetitive cycle of doom and gloom messages in the media and so on from human beings you just get buffeted with it buffeted with it all the time and people bring it up as though they're saying something intelligent like as though they're saying something as well says, oh, it's all going to end in calamity. That like, oh, this is just you know, this is this is part of their plan, <laughs> or whatever it is in in the conspiracy theory lexicon. And you know, it's inevitably going to end in calamity. That's kind of the overriding message. Or it's an environmentalist sort of trip with it, but it's inevitably going to end in calamity for that reason. You know, for the, for the climate change, uh, pollution reasons. You know, that the world is inevitably doomed. It's it's not like that at all. It really isn't. There's, there's, there are big problems such as Vladimir Putin, <laughs> such as, um, and yeah, climate change and things like that. There are huge problems in the world, granted. But there's hope, God damn it. There's a good side and a bad side. There is an evil person in there. There's, yeah, there's, is this, this conflict is quite clearly drawn, really. There's, there's the, the little guy who's being attacked, let's face it. Ukraine. Ukraine, whichever way you cut it, is just not as powerful as a country as Russia. And it's, it's a big bully in the playground versus a, a speckier, smaller child who's got a lot of sweets that the big bully wants. That is the anatomization of this conflict. It's quite cut and dry, really. It's not... It's not a, a morally complex war <laughs> or anything like that. It's um, someone like who had always intended to do this, you know, since the outset, since like the very beginning of his premiership. Well, a premier and a president in Russia, the, the beginning of his tenure, his reign, should we say. This autocratic tyrant type. He was he was setting out to do that from day one, <laughs> and um, establish what he considers to be the traditional frontiers of of Russia, or maintain or uphold those the traditional frontiers of Russia. It's a nineteenth century spheres of influence politics that's got going on. And um, everyone else is sort of being like, well, we live in an age now where we have nuclear weapons. We, we can't be doing that sort of thing. This kind of, um, yeah, Bonapartian style rhetoric politics, that, that can't be going on.